All right, so it's time for another eBay unboxing. And I get a lot of questions. Um, why do I wear hooker gloves? And um, it's a multitude of reasons. Laziness is number one because I don't feel like polishing my nails and getting a manicure. Um, <laughs> number two is because I'm a judgmental bitch. The biggest, most uh, horrible judgmental bitch. And I'm, I, I actually fear. I fear people judging me. I pee. I, I actually fe I pee. Did I just say I pee? Well, we all pee. All right. I fear judgmental people so much because I'm judgmental that I'm afraid because I watch YouTube videos all the time and I see people actually like, you know, they, they're handling things and I see their hands in the video and I start noticing, oh, they have dirt under their fingernails. Oh, um, they have dry skin. And that's why I wear gloves. I, I'm actually hiding my insecurities. All right, let's get the box open. You see, I even confess to you guys. Um, I feel like you're a part of my family. That was embarrassing. All right, so let's try to get this open. Now, I'm not sure what it is because I ordered a bunch of things. By the way, my God, can you use any more tape? Jeez Louise. Actually, that's a very conscientious uh, seller. That's somebody who cares. He didn't want the package to bust open. But uh, so what this is, is what I think it is, is another one of those antique silver compact purses, ladies compact purses. And wow, this seller actually is a good packer. Did he just double box this? And he did. And oh Lord. All right. Let's slice through this baby. Yeah. This guy cares. This is a, a seller that really cares. Yeah. All right, let's try to get this thing open. Holy cow, and more tape. <laughs> this guy is the king of tape. All right, we got to get the scissor for this one. And yeah, so um, most likely it will be tarnished. It will be dirty. What I am going to do is actually polish it, most likely. Show you a before and after. We'll actually take a look at it, go over it. What is it? Who made it? You know, all those questions that most of you don't even care about and are probably hitting the back button. But you're probably intrigued and a little curious. And then probably you'll hit the back button the minute I take this out of the uh, cocoon of foam. And okay. So what we do have here is a filthy, dirty, tarnished. Again, look how filthy this one is. Holy guacamole, it's black. It's supposed to be silver, but it is black. And generally, I collect a lot of these purses and 90% of them are actually German coin silver and I recently found out that German silver um, is actually not even silver at all it's just nickel and so for years I was collecting these type of purses thinking I had silver but guess what guys we actually really do have silver and look how filthy it is and it's English it's not German so at least the English were honest and if they wrote silver on something you would get uh, something silver now this thing is quite heavy I am not kidding you. This thing is extremely heavy. Also, it's a chatelaine. So um, it has a finger ring. So uh, not only would a lady be rocking this around with her finger in the little finger ring, she could also attach it to a little hook attached to her dress or attached uh, to a brooch and uh, have it hang and suspend. So that's uh, pretty cool. All right, so let's get it open. We have initials AWS. And this is the, one of the heaviest ones I've ever had in my collection before. It has weight to it. All right, so let's open it up and let's look inside. So what do we got here? We got this little doodad. And what my guess is, is that this little doodad held calling cards in there or dance cards. Um, we do have a hallmark in there. And we'll go over that in a minute. And it's British. And then we have two spots for coins. And again, this is heavily hallmarked. You can see the hallmarks here. And the hallmarks here. Um, so two coins would go in here. You'd slide them in. And then we're going to open this up. And what we have here is really cool. Um, I don't even know what its function is. So we have you would slide something in here. Perhaps, um, I don't know. <laughs> and then we have what appears to be a powder puff. And a very, 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 very old powder puff. Oh my God, it is beautiful. These are very, very rare. I tried to actually buy these um, for my old compacts um, to replace the ones that are missing. And it's called Swans Down. And you can't get them. You can't get them. And if you find the vintage versions, they're like $60, $70 for uh, Swans Down. So, uh, wow. It, just to have an uh, original one is absolutely amazing. So we're going to figure out how old this is um, by looking at all the hallmarks. And this is, again, heavily hallmarked. 
we got another hallmark here we got another hallmark in here and you see the british marks you see the rampant actually it's a lion not rampant on its hind legs but on all fours um we have other marks i think that uh is london it might be a london mark and a date mark which is a letter um if you're dating these things it would have a little letter um the third one and then you can tell exactly what year it was made so we're going to do that too let's open this up what would go in here oh wow we have original hat pin i mean hairpins very very old hairpins and again well more, more uh hallmarking which is quite amazing um how many times that they had to hallmark this that is just really really outrageous we got one hallmark we got two hallmark we got three hallmark a fourth hallmark over here we got a fifth hallmark over there and actually uh somewhere on the purse uh had had a uh, actually another mark on the outside and i saw it in the seller's picture here it is and what does it say let's see where did it go I did see it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Sorry about that. Dummy. There we go. I see the word London. Very good. And it says Mappin and Weeb. Is that a Weeb? I don't know. What is a Weeb? All right. So let's uh, actually first, what I am going to do is I'm going to get some silver polish out. I am going to polish the shit out of this and uh, make it shine once again. And then we're going to uh, find out what year it was made. We're going to look uh, how to look up silver marks and then um we're gonna enjoy this together all right i'll be with you in a moment i have issues with attention span and i said i was gonna shine it up first but first i just wanted to show you so what letter do we have come on focus focus enhance damn it this phone is such a piece of crap it's like four years old it's time for a new one there we go so you see the letter hold on let's get the pointer out and here's our handy dandy uh pointer and so if you look over here, you see the letter P. And it's um, actually, it looks like a square box. Um, some of the different date marks would have like a little cartouche, um, depending on the year. But this looks like the letter P. We see the lion. Um, let's see the other marking, actually, when we lift this one up. Um, I think it was a more thorough marking. Nope, we still had the letter P. And I think, aha. It's not a square. It does have a little cartouche, I think, on the bottom. Let's just zoom in. Yes, you see the little, underneath the P, right in the center, under the P, there's like a little point pointing downwards. That's going to help us date this. So let's go ahead and let's try to find out what year this was made. The website for this is actually, it's called 925-1000.com. And uh, so let's uh, try to find out how... Um, we can find out the date on that. So London Hallmarks, here we go. And actually, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Hold on, okay, so here we go. World Marks, British Hallmarks. And uh, again, let's try to get a date on this. And they show you, like, uh, really, it's a really informative. Um, let's try to get the date letters, here we go. A date letter is a system introduced in London in 1478. So it will tell you the exact date. So if you looked at the cartouche that we had, like right there, the letter P, that's our letter P, with the little point right down in the center, um, that'll actually help us get a year on this. And will it let me click on it? The answer is no. I'll have to get a way to get in here and hack into this. I figured it out. So Hallmarks, um, British, and Irish silver. So we're going to go to London, okay? Um, and yes, this is crazy. Okay, so we want to look for the earlier marks and... Let's go into around here and let's try to find our cartouche that was actually, let's blow this up. Okay. So we have to find our date cartouche, which is like this, which it has the point in the center. And so P would be 1910. Okay. So that is actually cool. So now we know that this was made in 1910. And now we know the name of our silver maker, which was Map and, and not Weeb, <laughs> Web, M and W. Um, it's an international jewelry company headquartered in England. Map and Web traces its origins to silver 
workshop founded in 1775, 247 years ago. It now has retail stores throughout the British Islands. Mappin and Webb was held royal, um, has held royal warrants to British monarchs since 1897. Um, okay, so this is a really, really um, highly collected um, silver uh, company. Um, a lot of people just collect silver from certain companies. So let's just check out one thing. We'll do a little rabbit, uh, Google rabbit holing and hang in there one second. So I'm going to Google uh, Mappin and Web purse. There we go. P U R S E. All right, we're typing. There we go. And uh, oh wait, we'll type in silver. Duh. Why am I getting leather purses? Google uh, search sucks. It really sucks. All right, so here we go. Aha. Aha. Ahoy, mateys. All right, so what do these things sell for? And my God, I get so many YouTube notifications. You hear this shit? At 1.33 a.m., all these YouTube notifications. I guess nobody else uh, sleeps. <laughs> Everyone's like me. So let's find Mappin and Web. Here we go. One, wow, being sold for $238.65. You know what I paid for that? $10. That was a lucky one. Here we go. This one's very similar. And this is what ours is probably supposed to uh, look like. Um, a fabulous 100-year-old piece. Um, that one's dated uh, 1920. Mine's actually 1910. So here we go, $265.09. I'd actually, wow, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be shiny. Um, did they show you the interior? Ah, and this was just like a uh, leather wallet. Very interesting. Mine's more interesting because we have the swans down. We have all those compartments. We have the hairpins. Um... I think mine is much better after I shine it up. So let's go ahead and shine it up. Let's uh, quickly just look at some other prices for these pieces by Mappin and Web. What do they sell uh, for? Um, again, I really think I got a great deal. Um, this one's two sixty four thirty four. Oh, it's the same one we just saw, but the same seller selling it on uh, Ruby Lane. And any others? I don't see very many others. But so we can guess that mine is probably worth about at least two hundred dollars. Here's another one dated nineteen thirty six, um, and this one was sold euro eighty dollars. Uh, let's see, uh, Mappin and Web silver miniature three handle cup. Oh, it's just for a three handle cup. Oh my God, that's ab absolutely highway robbery for just the cup. <laughs> so I guess Mappin and Web is actually highly collected. Um, cool. Let's check out uh, what a Vesta case would be. 1924. Wow. Is that? Yeah, that's a British uh, pound sterling. Uh, 299 sterling, which is worth way more than U.S. dollars. Okay, so I think I got myself something very expensive, and I'm actually very happy. Um, yeah, that was a really good buy. Let's see, invaluable. Usually on these auction sites, they don't sell for as high. View more details. Here we go. The purse. Um, yeah, and they're not giving me the price, these bastards. Um, upgrade subscription to view. No, I'm not paying you. Okay, so we can gather from what we see here that mine's worth about at least 200 doll hairs. All right, let's get it shined up and let's check it out. My silver polishing rag, and for the first time, now it has uh, the silver polish impregnated in there, but it gets pretty dried up after a while. So I'm going to use, uh, for the first time in my whole entire life, something called Simicrone Polish. On silver I usually use Weemans so we're gonna go with the Simicrone this time and let's hope I don't screw anything up believe it or not I'm like one of those weird people that actually like to uh, watch videos of people cleaning old silver and uh, or brass or things like that it actually gives me a satisfaction so I'm just gonna put a little teeny teeny bit of this on here not very much because it already has some kind of cleanser impregnated in there and we're gonna just do a small spot just to make sure that we don't screw this up. So we'll do the back part because, you know, you don't want a reaction that'll destroy your item and then you'll be sorry. And I'm going to tell you something. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, Simicrone is actually getting the filth off of this. And I'm actually really, really, really surprised. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but here we go. Wait, look at that. The rag just got filthy dirty and I just did that spot. Okay, I'm going to continue to use the Simicrone, and let's uh, see some progress here. I'm going to lift up my camera. Hold on. All right, now you can probably see it better. 
And I don't know, you might get a rise out of this. Like I get a rise out of watching people clean old silver. I could just sit there for hours. I actually put it on my um, playlist when I can't sleep and I have anxiety and I just watch these type of people's videos for hours, like episode after episode of them cleaning and restoring antiques. And it helps me to fall asleep at night when I um, am particularly troubled by anxiety. And I love doing that. All right. So, so far you can see we're getting a shine on here. And let's just continue to rub like in little circular motions back and forth. And I'm going to do half of the purse and show you the difference. All right. So, so far, okay, hold on. We are getting very shiny. Um, that's uh, the part with the simicrone and the part without the simicrone. Okay. You see what I mean? And the lighting pretty much sucks in here. Look how shiny this is getting. Can we see our reflection over there? Yes. Can we see it here? No. So that's uh, how much of a difference it's making so far. Now, what's great about Simicrone is um, it has virtually no abrasives in it. Um, things like certain polishes of silver um, or brass or what have you have very, very, very terribly horrible abrasive materials in it. And what happens is, is that it can scratch up your antiques. Um, really, really scratch them up pretty bad. Although this already has scratches on it because it's old, you know, it's hit the surface many times when a lady would have probably threw it down on the counter. Um, and wow, we are getting some major shine here. I mean, absolutely major shine here. Look at this. And over here, um, it's starting to show a shine. Now I didn't really do that side as much yet. Let's get in there with the polish and I'm just going to put dabs of it along the purse. Again, go around in circular motions. You're going to see cloudiness, but you're going to have to wipe off all that cloudiness um, with the buffing side. And I'll show you that in a little bit. I don't know if you want to watch this whole thing. I mean, again, it makes my videos way too long. And then people end up hitting the back button because they don't want to watch, you know, this long of a video with some stupid broad talking and talking and talking, especially men. Men, I notice, cannot stand when women just go on and on and on and talk. Especially my husband. He just tells me, shut, excuse my, you know, language. He's like, shut the F up already. You know, you don't shut up. <laughs> and it's, it's a woman thing, I think. I think we just like to just talk, you know. And, all right, so far this, look how shiny this is. Okay, Simicrone is the tits. And, uh, sorry about that. I know my, um... You know, here's the buffing side, by the way. I know that, like, my language is a little, you know, it's not very, um, what's the word? Flattering. You know, some of you might not want to subscribe to me because my language is a little bit, you know, off-key. But this is who I am. You know, and when I make my videos, I just want to be me. I don't want to put on the Queen's English, if you know what I mean, and act like, well, highfalutin and, and posh, you know? I'm just who I am, and I enjoy just being a regular person who just enjoys cursing. There we go. Look at the shine. I'll be back when this is finished. And already you can just see an amazing, amazing difference. Look at that. So I took my ring light off so you can actually see this better. Um, this is the other side that I didn't do yet. And I lean it on a towel so it doesn't get scratched up. But look how black that is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of that right now to show you before and afters at the end. Now, when I flip it over, okay, look at this. <laughs> it's like night and day that is like night and day do you see what I mean let's flip it again okay I'll be back okay so I put it on a paper towel to show you how shiny it is um that is absolutely nothing short of amazing um now my new silver polish that I'm going to be using every single time is going to be Simicrone Simicrone is absolutely uh, superior to all the other um, polishes and creams that I've been using. Look at that incredible shine. I'm going to flip it over to the other side really fast. Hold on. Um, okay, look at that. Okay, look at that. I can actually see my gloves actually in the reflection of the purse. I mean, that is just the coolest thing ever. I mean, you saw how horribly filthy this was. 
And um, yeah, I'm going to actually show it to you um, up in the light. I'm going to actually dangle it. But this is just wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to show you it without the ring light and with the ring light. So now it's without the ring light and look at this shine. <laughs> that is so cool. I ha as you can see, I have a lot of like silver pieces and brass pieces. Um, I've been shining everything up with Simicrone lately and it's been shining everything that's antique and old into a mirror finish as you can see here. Look at that. Okay, so this is holy cow this is just amazing yeah let's put it in the back here with his light um you know what i won't even get the ring light out this is just absolutely amazing here let's just okay look at that look at that ten dollars ten dollars this was like and i'm not like oh i'm not going oh i'm bragging i'm so wonderful i got this for ten dollars because i'm a genius i know how to find ebay sleepers um no i'm not a jerk like that but i have to say this is nothing short of amazing, and I love it. I absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite one now. Um, it beats all the German silver ones. Well, hold on one second. Let me move that. It beats the German silver ones. The German silver ones I do not like anymore because they're not real silver. <laughs> I'm pissed off, actually, at German silver. I don't uh, want to collect it anymore. Now I want to get these British pieces um, in my collection. Again, look at this. Look at the beauty of this. This is just so amazing and so cool. Um, here, let's just hang it up. Um, and you can see the shine on this. Simicrone, baby. Now, if you live in California, you're actually, um, actually totally screwed. You cannot get Simicrone in California. Um, the bastards that run California, um, and I hate the California politics. Um, they're a bunch of asses. You can't like have anything in California. Oh, oh, it's like a travesty to have any chemicals there. You might catch cancer. And look, my mother died from lung cancer and I hate cancer. Um, but if you handle things with gloves and, you know, in well-ventilated areas and you use your brain, you should be allowed to use Simicrone in California. But I guess they think the masses are asses and wouldn't actually use the proper ventilation techniques or glove usage and uh they won't allow you to have it so if you want simicrone let me know contact me in the comments below if you live in california and for a hundred dollars i will send you a tube i mean i need to make money you know i'll have a little business a blockade business i'll ship your simicrone to california because trust me you need this shit thanks for watching see you guys all soon so long